Ever see a military tank in action? These monsters tip the scales at 60 tons, and when they're on a mission, nothing will stop them. The destructive powers of a tank are seemingly limitless. Imagine what would happen if one of them got loose in your neighborhood. Sydney, Australia. A lunatic steals a tank and goes joyriding through the streets. Cops can't stop him until he runs out of gas. Another beautiful day in sunny Southern California. It's late afternoon when Barbell D. Agostino strolls outside to get the paper. I heard voices from the helicopter saying, please go inside. This is not a joke. I was in the locker room uh, at the end of my shift and I heard the call come out on the radio, so I went back and got my patrol car and headed to the area. Service station attendant Charlie Mustafa is on lunch when the neighborhood calm is broken. Then we heard a rumbling sound, boom, boom, boom. San Diego, California. Without warning, this quiet community becomes the target of a deranged man's fury. 35-year-old Sean Nelson steals an M6 military tank from a local armory and takes it on a tour of destruction. In minutes, police and news crews flock to the area. I'll call it the best I can. I'm trying to get this whole uh, mess on videotape. It's in big trouble. Uh, yeah, that's putting it my way. Piner's partner, Officer Paul Paxton, is also on call. He learns the tank's driver is an ex-soldier and a professional. He uh, had served in the uh, Army as a, a tank crewman. So he definitely had tank experience. Uh, he's running over fire hydrants. you got hydrants that are blowing water in the air. The tank plows through the neighborhood. The driver hell-bent on destruction. This is the San Diego Police Department. Everybody go back in your house and get off the street. Barbell stops in her tracks, shocked at the sight before her. So I'm looking down the street, and I realized that he was actually aiming for my car. There was no doubt about it. He's doing his cars on purpose. Nobody on the street is safe. It's like a war zone over here. I know he hit one occupied vehicle with a with a family in it, and they, they just barely escaped before the, the car was crushed. Oh, get out of the street. Go back in your house. You're in danger. Okay, if we have any SWAT equipment that can help us out with this thing. The devastation continues. The police still have no idea how to stop this madman's rampage. It was during that time of day where people are getting off work or out of school, so the streets were very congested with people. He's coming up towards the school. The tank's power is mind-boggling. It mows down a traffic light, snapping it like a toothpick. Police are desperate to stop the street-side demolition. They called our, for our SWAT guys to see if they had anything in their arsenal that could stop him, and they said no. They do not have the ability. They do not. That's do not. But police have more on their hands than just a runaway tank. Somebody get a hold of the armory and find out if this thing is loaded. Yes, it's a vehicle, but it's also a gun. And at that time, it was the biggest gun on the streets of San Diego. So it shoots at a mile a second, and we ain't got nothing in our department that can stop it. And to make matters worse, the deranged ex-soldier behind the controls is also drunk. Mental problems plus alcohol. A ticking time bomb waiting to explode. Suddenly, police are faced with even a greater danger. Yeah, he zigzagged a little bit, and he made an abrupt right turn. one of the support pillars that hold up this uh, pedestrian footbridge. Then he backed up, struck it again, backed up, struck it again. About two more hits and this bridge is down. Well, after a while, he, he gave up on trying to knock this pole out. And he continued on south. Inexplicably, the crazed driver veers away from the bridge and heads straight for the center divide. Paul and his partner Rick come up with a plan of action. That's when I made a decision I'm going to go on the tank. There's no time to stop oncoming traffic. If the tank breaks free, the results will be catastrophic. Rick and Paul make their move. Once I was on top of the vehicle, I cut the padlock off. At that point, we could look down in and we could see the driver. Now we continually shouted for him to stop the tank, let us see his hands. He looked back, looked up at us, no facial expression, didn't say anything. Right now he's trying to come undone. It's possible if he keeps uh, jerking this thing side to side, he might be able to break that pavement loose and roll again. And I 
made my decision right then that uh, the tank had to be stopped right now and the driver had to be stopped. And so I fired one round, struck him on the shoulder and traveled diagonally down through his body. As quickly as it started, this ride comes to a deadly close. In that circumstance, there was no other options available. We had exhausted every other possibility that we had at our, our disposal. Hundreds of thousands of dollars in damages are the result of a madman's fury. Miraculously, no one was hurt in the rampage. Still, San Diego will never be the same. It reminded me of something you'd see on CNN on Bosnia. Oh my God. We ain't got nothing in our department that can stop it. It's like a war zone over here. When we come back with world's wildest police videos, a frightening pursuit on Easter Sunday morning, and two officers are an inspiration to us all. Every single day, police officers are called upon to deal with incredibly dangerous situations. They are asked to put their own life on the line in order to protect and serve. This is every officer's duty, even if the life they're saving is a criminal. As long as they think they can get away, some will run and some will crash and burn. But when people criticize the police and their pursuit policies, they might consider Officer Paredes and Thundercloud, who ended this high-speed pursuit by risking their own lives to save this fleeing suspect from certain death. We interviewed Officer Paredes. When someone's in trouble, we're going to help them. Whether he's a suspect, victim, it doesn't matter. It's just a human being in trouble, and we're going to help him. Luckily, Officer Paredes and his partner were able to pull the driver to safety just seconds before the gas tank exploded. This man owes his life to cops who truly believe they are there to protect and serve. After looking at the mayhem and all the madness, after seeing the crime, the criminals, the whore and the waste, it's easy to forget the thin blue line that stands between the innocent and the guilty. Next week on World's Wildest Police Videos, a renegade cop tries to escape. A Chevy Blazer fights the dust. And a hostage drama ravages a school zone. Prisoners fight. Tempers flare. Out of the vehicle and get your hands up. And a woman's life depends on a single shot. It's a life or death battle that police fight every day. 